Yo, what up guys? My name is Gabe Tran and it's been a while, but I'm back. I'm assuming if you clicked on this video, you broke your LCD screen on your G7X. The camera still works. Look, you can still see me. How, how many fingers am I holding up? So how did my camera get like this? Long story short, never put your camera in a checked bag. Anyways, I'm uh, back on topic. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this. And it's real simple. See this? This is a uh, good old super glue. What you wanna do, put a little dab on where the crack starts, you know? A couple dabs here. One right there. Once your super glue is on there, get a little microfiber cloth. You want to spread the super glue around, wipe it off, and boom, just like that. Super glue fixes everything. Just kidding. Did anyone fall for that? This is actually uh, my Sony RX100. Anyways, this camera is actually gonna be my overhead camera for today's video. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it up here. All right, no more messing around. If you guys are new here, my name is Gabe Tran, as I mentioned. I make entertaining and helpful videos, mostly regarding videography, but I do cover a lot of other topics. So if that interests you, consider subscribing because I'll be making more videos. All right, so back to the G7X. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to fix this. There's no saving this screen. You're just gonna have to replace it. All right, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I've never done this before, but you know, I'm a DIY type of guy. You know, I, I searched up some of the forums and stuff. So by the end of this video, we both gonna learn. All right, let's go over the things we're gonna need for this fix. First, you're gonna need your broken G7X. Second, you're gonna need a replacement screen, which is in here. Here's your replacement screen. This one right here is a genuine Canon OEM replacement screen. I got it for 80 bucks, but there are some generic versions out there, which you can get on eBay or Amazon for like maybe 25 to 30 bucks. You know, if you're on a budget, that is definitely an option, but I cannot vouch for how well they work. All right, and then last thing you're gonna need, some tools. I got this tool kit off Amazon for I think like 10 bucks or something. It's got a bunch of micro drivers. I think the ones you need for a G7X are actually only the Phillips heads. All right, so that's everything that you're gonna need for this fix. I'm gonna link all the items in the description box below. Be sure to check that out. But anyways, let's open her up. All right, so first step, you wanna make sure, take the battery out. You always wanna take the battery out if you can when you're working with an electronic device. You don't wanna risk burning the circuit board or anything. Next step, what is the next step? How to replace G7X. Don't worry guys, I'm a professional. All right, after you remove the battery, step one is to remove these three screws right there. One, two, Three, grab your toolkit. It is a two millimeter Phillips head. When you're doing this, be careful not to rush because you don't want to strip the head of these screws because it's going to be kind of hard to find a replacement. I don't think a Home Depot or Lowe is going to have screws like this. Boom, that's one screw. Boom, there you go. Be careful not to lose them. They are very tiny. Matter of fact, I'm going to go find something, put these in to make sure I don't lose them. Be right back. All right, I got this little magnetic bowl thing right here. Boom, boom, boom. If you don't have a little fancy magnetic bowl like me, you can just use a regular bowl. All right, so next step, you wanna remove these screws right here on the bottom side of the camera. It's a lot easier when you hold the screwdriver like this. This allows your palm to apply some pressure and some torque. It makes it a lot easier to unscrew. All right, that's one. These screws are different sizes from the previous screws that we uh, just took out. So be sure to note that for later when we uh, reassemble everything. All right, so after you remove those three screws, this should come right off like that. Be careful though, because you don't want to rip any of these ribbon cables. They're very delicate. If you rip it, then yeah, that's another fix that you're gonna have to do. Here's the insides of your LCD screen, okay? So right here, you got this circuit board. Right here, you got a ribbon cable going from the circuit board to your G7X. And then right here, you got a ribbon cable going from the circuit board to the LCD touch screen. So the next step is to unplug these ribbon cables from that circuit board. All right, just gently pull it out, boom. Pull this one out too, boom. All right, so after you pulled out those ribbon cables, you're gonna wanna remove this circuit board from the back of your old LCD screen. It's attached on there with a little bit of adhesive. You wanna gently, real gently pry it off. If yours is stuck on there real good, might need to get like a hair dryer or something. Apply a little bit of heat. Usually that'll soften up the adhesive and it should come off. It's coming off, boom, like that. 
Bam, and the screen is off. All right, let's move this to the side, focus on this. Now what we need to do is remove this broken LCD screen out of its housing. I'm assuming we just push it out like this. All right, just push it through. Oh, you can see it's cracking even more. I mean, it's already broken. Don't matter, but oh, now it's really broken. <laughs> through come on all right it's coming off all right right now i'm just using uh, these tweezers to get off it's a broken glass that's still stuck on it you see these uh little stringy things it's like a type of adhesive i'm gonna try and see if i could reuse it hopefully i can if not we might have to end up using some super glue after all uh, so far not looking so good. Let's see if this is enough. So maybe there was another item that I was missing that would be adhesive for this LCD screen. Let me keep trying and see if I could reuse this. Maybe it's salvageable. I'm gonna try to peel off some more. Ooh, yeah, that's a good piece. All right, so to put it all back together, you're just gonna wanna do everything in reverse. The side with the screw holes, that's the bottom of the frame. That's the top, this is the bottom. You're gonna wanna insert your LCD screen this way with the ribbons to the right pause the video real quick uh, don't listen to what I just said because that was a mistake which ultimately led to me making an even bigger mistake but uh you guys will see that later down the road anyways ribbons to the left okay to the left to the left everything you own in the box to the left Let's see if this adhesive holds up. All right, you just wanna press it back in. Hey, not bad, look, it's not coming off. All right, what I'm gonna do first is try to reconnect the pins. You just gotta jam it back in, that's all. So to make things easier, I have to pull this ribbon off of the adhesive just to make it a little bit easier to work with. All right, let's try to close her up. Mm, how did this work? Do I have it upside down? Damn it, I have the screen upside down. All right, no biggie. Last time I said ribbons to the right, it's actually ribbons to the left. My bad. All right, I gotta pause the video one more time. Um, if you guys look closely, you might notice that I have the frame upside down. So I'm essentially installing it the exact same way that I had it before. Uh, <laughs> God damn it, Gabe. All right, there you go. Let's put it back. Um, crap. Did I do it the wrong way again? Come on, man. All right, guys. So uh, we had a bit of a technical difficulty, and I was actually about to scrap this whole video, but you know, some days passed, and I gave it some thought. I figured, you know, there are people out there who need this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and try my best to salvage it. So I'm just gonna be straight up with y'all. I failed the repair. So let me explain what happened so you guys don't make the same mistake. I mean, everything in this video so far is valid. You can continue to follow the steps and you will be successful as long as you don't make the mistake I did. Let me explain what happened. We got everything plugged in, right? The new LCD is plugged in, everything's all good. All that's left was to put back all the screws. But I thought before I put in all these screws, I should go ahead and test it first. That way I wouldn't have to take it all apart again just to fix the problem. So I put the battery back in, you know, to test it and I turn it on and voila, it works. The screen turns on, camera's functioning, everything's good to go. I was pumped. But then as I was about to put the screws back in, I realized, oh no, I installed installed the, the screen frame, this outer part, upside down. Now I gotta take it all apart again and uh, reinstall it. I uninstalled it, reinstalled it, put the screws back on and everything. I was about ready to finish this video. But when I clicked the power button, nothing, nothing. And I was like, damn, maybe it's not plugged in all the way. And so I kept on uninstalling and reinstalling and uninstalling and reinstalling the screen and it just wouldn't make any difference. And I've come to the conclusion that I have fried the LCD chip right there. I've realized that I forgot to take the battery out the second time I took it apart. Even when one of my steps was to make sure you take the battery out. You always wanna take the battery out if you can. You don't wanna risk burning the circuit board or anything. Learn from my mistake, but anyways, that is how you repair a G7X LCD screen. More like a how not to repair, I guess. This tutorial should apply to most other point and shoots because I'm assuming most of them are constructed in a similar fashion. It's pretty much a plug and play kind of repair. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped you guys out. I was this close to scrapping the whole thing because shoot, I failed. <laughs>
follow these steps and remember to take your battery out and unlike me you will be successful but anyways remember to like and subscribe my next video will probably be another repair video on the mavic pro so if you guys have a mavic pro you need repairing be on the lookout i'm also going to be posting a lot more videos about videography you know tips and tricks reviews on equipment you name it all right so remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one Y'all don't know how sad I am about this, actually. I was so frustrated. I just kept turning it on and off, just hoping, please, just turn on, please. <gasps> Probably my favorite camera. It's sad to see it go. Come on, Canon. Give me the Mark III. RIP G7X, you will be missed.